Welcome to Handmade Home, I'm Hester and this is part two of the deck makeover. This wall behind me has been the pain in my eye for like the five years we lived here. I really, really dislike the magnolia pill yellow colour and I can't believe I actually waited five years to paint it. I don't know why I didn't think of painting it before. I always thought oh, I'll do it for the next house. But as we are going to spend a lot of time in our garden this summer, I thought I might as well make it look like how I want it to look. So this colour is going to be gone and by the end of the day it's going to look a lot more fun. I was thinking what I could do with this wall. I first thought maybe going to paint one plain colour. Or I was also looking at outer wall paper, which could be really fun. Oh, hey, Mama! Good. Yeah. And then my friend Terry posted this picture on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing? This picture of her and her daughter in front of hey, a, a plain wall. Camera. No talking to the camera. Well, I think people are know what I'm going to do with the wall, Kiki. This picture of her and her daughter in front of a plain wall, but with uh, her illustration it's talent. She made a really nice colour of the wall and made all these shapes on it. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun? It'd be so lovely to do on this wall. So I asked Terry if I could be inspired by her idea. And she said, of course, go for it. So that is what we're going to do today. So I'm using any Sloan chalk paint on the wall. So regular chalk paint in the colour Paloma, which is a really nice purpley grey. It's a really lovely light colour. But uh, yeah, very excited about this. Painting has begun! Look, Ian's up the ladder there. He said he would do the higher bit because he doesn't trust me on the ladder, which is fair enough. I wouldn't trust me on the ladder either because I'm a bit clumsy. So better for health and safety. But uh, yeah, look, he's painting. I'm so excited. Thank you, Ian. There's a slight worry. We don't have enough paint. So uh, let's see how we go. Isn't helping with how much paint we're using is how extremely textured our wall is. We're using a lot more paint to get in between all the tall and um, bits that stick out. So we just finished one tin of paint. We've done all of that. So we definitely won't have enough paint to do the whole thing. So that's both paint tins empty. Unfortunately, I haven't finished yet. And also looking at it, I think I might only need a second coat as well. So what happened is I originally wanted to have the Paloma paint, the one I have here, but it was out of stock. So I said, oh, I'll go for a grayer paint, a darker one, and I mixed with a white paint. So to uh, make a color sort of similar to this. Um, so I ordered two of each, two gray and two white. Then, um, luckily, the Paloma came back in stock, so they sent me two Paloma and two white. But of course, I didn't have to um, mix it with the whites, so I only had two paint tints. So yeah, even starting at it, I just didn't think of it. Um, I didn't think there was only two tins instead of four. So yeah, definitely not enough. And uh, now we just have to wait a few more days until we can uh, finish the job, which is a little bit frustrating. Realising the sunlight, you can't even see what we painted. Uh, but yeah, there's one there that hasn't been done, and around here it hasn't been done. And looking at that, I just want to make up my mind if I like it as a bit patchy, because it looks a bit like plaster, or if I'm going to give all of it a second coat. Let's just let it dry and um, think about it. Hey, the paint has arrived! So happy for this. So what I'm going to do today is, sorry, I want like really squinty McSquintersons over here. The sun isn't out, but it's really bright, so I can't really see you. But um, oh, yeah, Kiki's helping me. You're going to help? Perfect, because what we're going to do today, I'm going to finish up the patches I didn't do um, a few days ago when we ran out of paint. So hopefully we're going to do that, and if the weather stays nice, we're going to do a second coat of the whole wall as well. Because the paint I'm using, I'm using the Annie Sloan chalk paint, is when I was talking to the Annie Sloan people about painting this wall, they said, oh, their paint's perfect for outdoor use. I assumed they were talking about the wall paint, but no, it's a normal chalk paint. But what you need to do though, you need to check the weather forecast, because it needs three days of no rain, ideally sunny weather, so the paint can bake or cure in the sun, and after that it should be perfect for um, the outdoor walls. It might fade over time a little bit, but uh, yeah, we'll see. And our walls are very textured and porous, so apparently that should be perfect for the chalk paint. So let's get cracking and uh, let's start painting. So my little helper is back. We're going to clean up a little bit, Kiki. We're going to tape it off and then we're going to paint.
is so textured that painting it is an absolute nightmare. It's like painting a moon landscape. I think maybe in hindsight a spray would have been easier, but then it was quite windy here, so I think that will go everywhere. But uh, yeah, just, just continue stabbing it in. It's an interesting painting technique. Good arm exercise. So start with the second layer, and in the ideal world, we just do a very thick coat of paint to cover all these little lumps and bumps. But unfortunately, we only have two tins. Uh, I did even like six tins to complete this with a thick layer. So for a new technique, I'm using a tiny brush. So with this brush, I'm just gonna see if I can get all those little bits that haven't been filled with, with paint yet no, I filled. Not, I do. Kiki's got eyes lolly, she's very happy with herself. Um, yeah, it's quite like forever though to do this wall. But uh, yeah, tiny small brush, let's go for it. So now we step with the brush, and if it doesn't go in, we go in with a tiny brush. Let's see if this works. I might be here for the next um, six weeks. A couple of hours yesterday painting the lower two meters of the walls, giving the second coat and really getting into those little um, bumpy bits. And now Ian's back on the ladder, he's doing the top two meters, so hopefully tonight base coat will be done. It's really early, it's really spring, but we want to start painting the shapes on the wall. Last time I realized when the sun hits the back wall, you really can't see what I'm doing, so at this time I beat the sun and I get up a bit earlier. Well, been up a while because hey, Kiki. But yeah, it's um, quarter past six in the morning and we're gonna start painting shapes. It's so exciting. And as an accent color, I'm using the Annie Sloan chalk paint in old white. So I remember that picture of my friend, Terry. Well, yesterday I drew some shapes on the wall, my picture of the wall. And now I think she gets to I don't know which paintbrush is gonna work best. So I've got a little selection there. I've also got my detail brushes. Um, see what works best. Yay, let's go. I think I might just start. I think I might just start making shapes and just keep my um, little piece of paper here as a reference. So, um, show me. So my idea is just to make the basic shape first, get a bigger brush and then go in with a smaller brush and do the neater lines because as you notice when we painted this grey, this texture is a nightmare to paint on. It's like painting on the moon landscape I reckon. So bobbly and lumpy and whatever it is that makes it very difficult to paint. So hopefully, like this, it's gonna work. I might use one of these brushes for that. shape down, let's put my music on and do a lot more. This little brush is really good in getting into the texture. It's really nice flat edge as well, so I think I might continue with this one. Way, then I step back and I thought maybe the white's a little bit too bright. So on two of the shapes here, I'm mixing a little bit of the color I used on the wall, the Paloma. And I think just a toned down white, it's a little bit nicer, it's a little bit like, it's a bit gentle on your eye, I think. I think that's a bit stark, like very like shape. I think this is a bit nicer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix a bit of Paloma paint into the white paint and I'm just gonna go over these. I might just leave them and mix them in. So I might continue. Yeah, that's that. Let's continue making shapes with those. I can always go over the white shapes again.
the shapes now and I'm really loving it. I did stop it at 2 meter mark, I didn't want to go too high because I don't really want you to see it from the road. And I think it's quite nice when it's quite, quite concentrated here and then it goes a little bit uh, less dense on top and then to nothing. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go in on my detail brush and just neaten up the edges a little bit. I'm going to see because I'm so loud today. And what you do see though is a bit of colour difference, which I quite like. Because when I first mixed the paint, it dried really dark. So I added a bit more white. So I think I ended up with one fifth grey and four fifths of the white. And I think it looks lovely. So yeah, let's put in the detail brush and then we're done. I mixed way too much paint. You definitely don't need much to do those shapes. Um, so I'm just going to put this back in a tin and label it. Love how this wall turned out. It's so much fun having all those shapes in the garden. Thank you so much, Terry, for your inspiration. And also a massive shout out to Andy from Chalk Paint for gifting me the paint to do the makeover. I mean, didn't know you could use chalk paint on walls, but yeah, it looks amazing. Especially this color. I love the Paloma. It's like a purpley gray. I think it's by far the favorite color that I do. My favorite color that I do at the moment. And I'm just using a tiny brush to do a little bit more touch ups because some of the really deep holes, you see a bit of the magnolia popping through, but I uh, should get rid of those soon. If you want to see the full wall, Tune in next week. I'm going to do a deck makeover, a before and after. I'm going to show you the full finished wall. So subscribe to my channel and maybe hit the notification button not to miss out on any of my tutorials. So I'll see you next week with this whole wall. Mm -hmm.